Okay, boys and girls, today we're talking about some of my favorite bushcrafting and outdoor gear for 2021. Now, this list and lineup is pretty chaotic because it's definitely some new, some old equipment, but this is ultimately just gear or multi-tools, knives that I've had a lot of fun with this year that I wanted to share with you guys. So, kind of just go over a little bit of a list of some fun equipment I've picked up and some fun equipment I've had. Uh, that I've used and enjoyed throughout the year. So let's start off with some of the fixed blades and get them out of the way. So the first one is the Condor Pterosaur. Now this little guy was a lot of fun. This is one of the best knives I've used for a budget bushcrafting blade in a very long time. I was very impressed with the way that it works and the way that it just makes curls. Uh, you know, this is a blade that I actually use for helping other people bushcraft, you know, when they're trying to practice their different skills. Uh, this is a fantastic option for that and a great blade for people to start bushcrafting with because it's affordable and very effective. Moving on from that, going into some of the larger blades, the Condor Bushcraft Parade is also another one that I had a lot of fun with. It was fun just primarily using a machete in Alaska because it's such a different environment, in a, an environment you wouldn't really think conducive to the machete. And while I will say it's not the out and out best solution for every problem that you will encounter here in Alaska, the machete is surprisingly effective at doing a lot more than you might actually think. So it's definitely a tool you don't want to sleep on and it was a ton of fun to use. Okay, so the next big blade for the tool list, of course, is the Artac 2, and I just really love the way that this overall build came out. It came out looking pretty cool, pretty fly, and I have to say I very much enjoyed it from the handle mods to pretty much all the mods that I did to this guy, like I said, including the custom sheath that was made for it. It is a pretty fantastic tool, and a tool that you could just really take out into the wilderness beat the heck out of and it keeps coming back for more so this guy is definitely a fantastic choice fantastic pickup and I have really enjoyed using this thing throughout the year okay so now jumping into some of these smaller tools we'll go over the blades and then the multi-tools themselves so just got one blade here uh, of course I have picked up a number of folding blades but I wanted to stay more outdoor oriented this year and not just go over some EDC knives so for this one, it is the 2750 Benchmade Auto Adamas, and this guy is kind of my Alaskan wilderness folder because it's built tanky, built beefy, but has a fantastic CPM crew wear blade, and of course, who cannot love that? Just absolute fast uh, auto deployment. And who does not just love that fast auto deployment? It just comes out, and the recoil on this thing is pretty noticeable. It's a pretty fun blade to play around with, and just a fun blade to add to the collection. And like I said, a more outdoorsy kind of high-end folder, if you will. Um, so definitely a really tanky, cool blade for the collection, and definitely been enjoying using this one outside as much as possible. So then moving now over to the technical multi-tools, we have the all of these vintage, but we have the Leatherman PST or Pocket Survival Tool, and as that name says or implies, it's designed to be outdoors even though the tool set might not be the best. Definitely enjoy taking it outside and trying to put its name to the test. Next to that, we have the very well-used or very well-loved uh, Victorinox Rucksack here. And the Rucksack, along with the Ranger, were tools that when I made my video about the ultimate survival Swiss Army knife, people were quick to recommend me to the Rucksack and the Ranger. And I picked both up. I've been really enjoying both of them. They are fantastic tools. For their regard, I'm still not the largest fan of Victorinoxes, but they are pretty dang good and have just a lot of tools that you need, especially the Ranger and the uh, Rucksack has been a lot of fun to use just as a different approach to Victorinox multi-tools. You know, it's almost more of a replacement for your main blade and uh, still has some multi-tool feature to it, whereas the Little Ranger is just basically the better version of the Huntsman. So I've been enjoying all three of these tools a lot and really just loving it. So these are some of the top gear picks 
So these are some of the top gear picks for me for this year. Uh, like I said, just been having a lot of fun trying to get gear that's different, that's fun, that that is useful, and provide you guys with some cool insight, some cool, you know, some cool insight and some cool uh, footage from Alaska with a whole bunch of different tools in the selection. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at some of my end of year kind of gear and top picks for tools to look at and tools that I've enjoyed playing around with throughout the year bushcrafting. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Have a good year and God bless. And I'm out.